Uh, hi YouTube. Uh, this morning we're going to do something that is very simple. Um, we're going to swap out uh, the barrel on this Browning Buckmark and we're going to put a 4 inch tactical solutions barrel on this. Uh, why? Uh, great barrel, very accurate, uh, but I wanted, uh, one, I wanted a threaded barrel, two, I wanted a shorter barrel, and um, Browning does not make a 4 inch barrel for it. Instead of getting a cut down, I just figured, eh, I'm just going to order this. Um, got some quotes that were actually more than this uh, from local gunsmiths, although uh, from what I understand, there's some that can do it cheaper, they could have cut this down. But anyway, we're going to swap this out, I'm going to show you how easy it is, and i um, going to have a new barrel on it. Um, these are made of aluminum, uh, they're very light, um, and obviously with the shorter length it's going to be lighter, but I have a scale and we'll kind of show you how much uh, weight you'd save on that. I mean, it's obvious uh, there's going to be a weight, weight saving, but um, anyway, uh, what you're going to need is a couple Allen wrenches. I uh, have them already set. Uh, they should have come with your Browning gun. If not, um, Allen wrenches aren't so hard to find. seems like you get them with everything nowadays. So, um, first thing you're going to need to do is remove this top rib here. Uh, very easy to do. You're going to need to do it to clean it anyway. Um, so we're going to start and we're going to do that. Just put in the Allen wrenches there and just unscrew them. Just make sure not to lose these, otherwise not like you can go to Home Depot and get these again. And put that guy over there. Basically, three screws. you got to unscrew and screw back together to do this operation. So we're going to get this done before we start looking at the Tactical Solutions Barrel. So I'm kind of excited to do this. Been wanting one for a while. Finally ordered one. Spent the money. Okay, get that out. It's the longer screw goes in the back, um, and then there's a washer in there. Uh, I'm gonna leave that in there. So with that out, the next thing you want to do is just unscrew the barrel. Uh, you need a bigger Allen wrench for that. Uh, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna stop the video right now, just so you don't watch me unscrew it for 30 seconds. So. All right. Okay, so now this screw is loosened um, where I can just pull it out by hand. Just again, use the Allen wrench for it. So we're just going to pull it out like this. I'm just going to with our fingers. And that's what that looks like. And then this barrel just comes right off. All right, so before we weigh these, I'm going to just kind of curious about that. Uh, this is a this is a tactical solutions barrel. Um, comes in a wrapper <coughs> like this, and uh, as I, I, I mentioned before, it's aluminum. Obviously, there's a steel insert in there where the where the bullet goes in. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, finish looks nice on it. Uh, nice and light. Uh, here's your threaded end cap uh, when you don't have the suppressor on it. So I'm gonna put that on right now. Um, yeah, I mean, really, there's nothing more to say about it. Uh, again, Browning does make a 4-inch barrel, uh, just not with a suppressor. They make a 5 and a half with a suppressor, um, so unless you want to do it yourself. So, just out of curiosity, let's see how many ounces uh, everything weighs here. We're going to wait for the scale to warm up, and the Tactical Solutions barrel is going to weigh 4.66 ounces. And this should be a lot heavier, obviously. The browning barrel is going to weigh, if I can get it to stay on there, over 13 ounces. So you're saving almost 9 ounces on the gun. So I, I think that's significant. Um, again, 5.5 inch barrel, you know, you're going to save some there. So um, I did see something online where the, there's an 8.5 inch Tactical Solutions barrel weighs less than Browning's 4-ounce barrel. But again, it, it, it kind of depends what you want. Great barrel. I have another gun just like this with this barrel, and I love them. So uh, we're going to set that over here for a project later on or eBay or something like that. And this barrel, basically, you just put it right back on the frame. So very easy. Just pop it in like you'd be cleaning it. And there you are. We're going to put this screw back in and put this back on and we're ready to shoot. So I'm gonna start this you know, with my fingers and then we'll stop the video um, 
We'll stop the video right now, and we're going to screw this in because you know, it's really boring. So probably more boring than what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm just going to finish screwing in this barrel. Um, I did put some masking tape here so I don't scratch the barrel as I'm getting this in here. Um, but yeah, very easy. This just goes right back in. Um, kind of a cool design, I think. Um, I have a Ruger uh, Mark II that I love, but um, I don't think you can change barrels as easy on it as this one here. But, you know, those Rugers are great guns too. So I guess a Chevy and Ford. So and there, tightened all up. Um, ready to shoot. So I'm going to pull this off. Well, oh no, sorry. It's not ready to shoot. And I can tell already, boy, this just feels completely different. Um, which I guess is, is, well, we'll see, good and bad. So uh, make sure that spring is pushed down in there. And then here again, we're just going back. Um, the washer's already in the, in the, in the back sight. get these going by hand because it's a lot easier. The nice thing is on these uh, Tactical Solutions barrels, everything lines right up. Um, can't wait to shoot this, especially I'm going to save some weight and get that suppressor on there, um, hopefully. Get one of those in a couple of months and I'll do another review on that. So there it is. So I had a brownie with a four inch barrel before, but sold it stupidly. Um, and then I came across another two brownings and uh, within a couple weeks of each other and five inch barrels and I thought, ah, get one and move this back on. Real easy uh, with the Allen, just of course make sure you got the right size in there. And there you go. Um, you know, gun is unloaded. I'm gonna go back and I can just tell this is a completely different feel. Way, way lighter gun. Again, smaller barrel it's gonna be, but you're saving what, close to eight and a half ounces um, on this. So, uh, very cool. Um, that's it, that's all it takes. And it's gonna shoot, and it's real cold outside today. Um, but maybe we'll go out and shoot it and see what it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Okay, we're going to do a quick test fire. Uh, windshield's 30 below, so we're going to do this real quick. All right, so in, out. It works.